Hi guys, Metalhead here, and today I'm going to be talking about fractional gold again. I had a video just posted the other day talking about why would you invest in fractional gold and whether or not I thought it was a viable strategy. Um, you can go back and check that video out. I'll put a quick link um, in the comment section. I'll also pop a little tab. You should be able to see it in the top right corner. So if you want to go and click on that uh, and have a look at that video, please do. But this video is really trying to build on top of that video. And it's actually kind of looking at if you do decide that you'd like to buy fractional gold, it's looking at what I think are the two, you know, two really good solid options. These are certainly my two favourite options of buying uh, fractional gold in the UK. And the two coins I'm going to be using today um, to demonstrate my point are on the left here. This is a 2022 gold sovereign, uh, which looks a little bit different. Uh, to usual. Um, I do have another video that goes into a bit more detail about why that is. Uh, it's all about the Platinum Jubilee and this is a special release for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. And then on the right here we have uh, a one quarter ounce uh, Britannia uh, which many of you might have seen before. So, so they're the two coins that I'm going to use today just to talk about as my two favourite options to access fractional gold. And um, the first thing you'll notice is in terms of size, there's not that much in it. They're both um, quite similar size. Um, but but really, if you look a bit closer on the Britannia in the top right corner there, you'll start to pick up on the differences between the two. So firstly, you'll see in the top right corner, uh, the 999.9 .9 on the coin. And what that is symbolizing is that the Britannia is 999.9 .9 parts of a thousand gold. It's 24 karat gold, which in other words, it's pure gold, solid gold, you could say. Whereas the sovereign, um, it doesn't actually say it on the coin, as far as I'm aware, anyway. No, it doesn't. Um, it doesn't say it on the coin, but that's actually 916.7 parts out of a thousand gold, uh, otherwise known as 22 karat gold. So the sovereign is 22 karat gold, and the Britannia's 24 karat gold. And actually, if you were to break uh, the sovereign down even further, um, of the coin, 7.32240 grams of that coin are solid gold. And there's, you know, it's horses for courses, really. I mean, some people like that 22 karat gold isn't quite as malleable uh, and, and prone to dents and nicks um, as uh, a 24 karat piece. And uh, some people like the fact that Britannia's, you know, they really are pure solid gold and kind of like the idea of owning pure gold. Uh, but, you know, it's, um, again, it, it, it depends on um, personal preference, really. Um, the Sovereign is a lot older. Uh, it dates back to, I think its first production was in the early 1800s. So they've been around uh, the gold community for oh, hun literally hundreds, hundreds of years. Uh, the Britannia is a bit more new on the scene. I think the first production line uh, of these from the Royal Mint was in the late 80s. Um, so not quite as much heritage and history on the Britannias, but by no means are they an unknown quantity. They are well known. Um, I was over in India a few years ago and uh, I, went, I visited a bullion store there and they sold both sovereigns and Britannias. And, you know, everywhere I've been uh, in recent years, um, I was in Switzerland recently, same sort of situation. Um, that, you know, there's a lot more heritage in the sovereigns, but by no means um, are the Britannias not recognised and pretty easily tradable on the market um but you know aside from the qualitative features um i think what's probably quite important for this video and particularly those who are looking to um buy fractional gold is the economics of what we're looking at here um and you know to kind of demonstrate the point i'm going to draw a bit of a table here to kind of really um compare and contrast uh, particularly the amount of premium that you're going to be paying on a sovereign and on a Britannia and just sort of looking at what might be the best uh, value for money. So in order to do that, I'm just going to draw um, this table. So we'll start off with a, a column rather for coin and then we'll do a column for spot price. And as always, please, you know, excuse my writing. Hopefully, I know it's a bit messy, but hopefully it gets... The message um, over and so on spot price we're obviously not going to be using the normal ounce um, spot price because obviously these coins aren't a full ounce and um, so in the case of um, in the case of uh, the sovereign 
uh, it's going to be 7.32240 grams. So today, the I'll just put a note down here, today, which is the 2nd of April 2022, a gram of gold spot price is 47 pounds and 20 pence. So in order to get the um, intrinsic spot price within within the sovereign, I'm going to times that by the amount of grams of gold within the sovereign, which is 7.32240. So that leaves us um, with a spot price there on the sovereign of 345 pounds and 50 pence. So I'll just come up here and put that in. So 345 pounds and 50 pence. And that was on the sovereign. And then on the uh, quarter ounce Britannia, uh, at the moment today, uh, an, an ounce of gold spot price is 1,468 pounds and 15 pence. So if we divide that by four, and luckily I prepared this before the video, we get 367 pounds and four pence. So I'll just make a note of that there. So that's the quarter ounce Britannia. And then the next, um, the next column I'm gonna do is the actual, I'll just bring this back slightly, is the actual uh, price of the coin, coin price. So I'm going to put the, I only bought these coins a few days ago, so I'm going to use the exact price um, I bought them at. Um, so the Britannia came in at £414.25 and the Sovereign came in at £379.40. So the final column is, I'm, I'm going to work out the premium in, in pounds and pence. Um, so in order to do that, I'll um, take away the spot price from the actual coin price um, that it was bought for. Um, so let's just have a quick sense check of this, just bear with me. So for this one, it's going to be £379.40 minus £345.50, which gives us... 33 pounds and 90p and then on the second on the britannia we'll do 414 pounds and 25 pence minus 367 pounds and four pence so, and that gives us 47 pounds and 21 pence now those numbers don't really mean too much to us and so to, to really do a fair comparison i'm gonna just calculate the percentages um, so I'll, I'll start the percentage of premium, I should say, the percentage premium. So the price you're paying for the gold within these coins over and above its intrinsic value. So I'll start with the Britannia. So that's going to be £47.21 divided by £367.04. And then I'll times that by 100. And that gives us a premium of 12.8% six percent and then for the sovereign i'm going to do 33 pounds 90 divided by 345 pounds and 50 pence and then again i'm going to times that by 100 and that gives us a premium there of 9.81 percent and there you go i mean i think that's pretty typical um of pricing on the sovereign versus the quarter ounce uh, Britannia. I should say at this point, as it stands right now, um, as of April 2022, both of these coins are VAT free and CGT free in the UK. Um, as always, check your own tax position, of course, but that's certainly my understanding um, of these two coins produced by um, the Royal Mint. But, you know, the key point here is, you know, you can see there's a bit of a difference there in premium. So I think if you're purely concerned about value for money, all things being equal, the sovereign probably does seem like a better bet, um, a better bet, um, a, a more economic um, bet on uh, on fractional gold. Um, but of course, you know, as I said earlier in the video, it's not all about the 
the price point is also, you know, some people do like the fact that they can hold a 24 carat uh, piece of gold, pure gold, in other words, in the hand. So it's not all about that. I certainly, when I started stacking gold, I did a bit of both. So I was doing quarter ounce Britannias and sovereigns. Um, but I hope that's being useful to kind of demonstrate the difference between premium that you'd pay, depending on if you were to go down the sovereign route or the quarter ounce route. Hopefully it's useful. Let me know in the comments section um, if you do buy fractional gold and if you view it slightly different or if there's any other options that I've maybe not covered. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully that was useful. Uh, see you next time. And in the meantime, happy stacking.